I'm Mia, I studied at Godalming College, I do psychology, history and photography. And I'm Scarlett and I do psychology as well, I do sociology and I also do English Learn Learn. Should we talk about what's good about psychology? Yeah, psychology is all around really, really interesting. I think it's also easier to listen and learn and get engaged when you're interested in what you're learning about. And psychology is obscure in that respect. Very interesting. But because it's very obscure. Yeah. <laughs> but it's also quite scientific, which I think is like omitted when people talk about psychology in general, which is also what makes it so interesting, because you're not just looking at people giving out theory. There's actual support for this, and like people have gone through standardised procedures to do so. Like studying the brain is so fascinating, you know, trying like getting a comprehension of how our brains work and the complexity of like the structures. I think it's a really great thing to have access to, especially at such a young age. You know, I talk about things that a lot of adults don't even know, and I think that definitely puts you on a on a really good pedestal for the future. Yeah, especially as when in when you study psychology, you get to look at every facet of the subject. It's not just here's an essay, write about it. You're learning about why these people believe in what they believe in, what studies they've come about with, and how they've constructed it on the basis of what research and how they furthered that themselves. And that's stuff that you can even think about doing in, in later life within uni, constructing your own studies. You learn about how to do all those procedures, which I would never have known how to do before. And you're going to go do psychology. Yeah, and and that's the plan. Hopefully, yeah, I'm going to take a year out and calm down for a bit and then <laughs> take a moment and try and do my own uh, so but you know the skills we use, the peel paragraphs, the, the the evaluative language. You know it is it's useful up, up until a degree level. You know and it's all and it's applicable throughout many things. So. And within the subjects that you take at college, because with sociology and crossovers of research methods, and social sciences, so you can use things that you're taught in psychology throughout different. Exactly, and I think the best things about psychology is definitely the obscure, interesting studies. You know, we learn about things where people have lost parts of their brain and it changes their temperament. It's very, it does definitely grab you, but there's lots of research. Like it's, it's very it's heavy, yeah. Heavy. But I think it does all link, and like we've been recently learning about issues and debates, which is, you know, prevalent issues throughout the whole of society. You know, ethical issues, eugenics. You know, stuff that really is applicable. Also, so to biased in your in your explanations of yeah things. gender bias learning about all these things that are so prevalent and it, it's definitely definitely useful in the real world and not just academically and to your understanding of history as well like with milgram we do study of obedience and that links into how so many people submitted to yeah, people like hitler and, and the authoritarian personality exactly why some people respect authority to a more you know, to a larger extent it gives you that kind of perception that you wouldn't have been able to gain just from doing any other really Okay. It definitely gives you an insight and a perceptive look into the scientific world as well. People people often don't think that it's a scientific subject, but it definitely is. You know, mm -hmm. learning about means, nodes, and medians it isn't the most exciting thing, but it's definitely relevant in psychological studies, and especially when you can use that to see if data actually is significant, whether or not it is just two like co-variables existing together or if it's actually one causing another. Yeah. Stuff that you wouldn't think about if you'd need to do if you didn't take that Why do we both want to study it? That's, that's the question. I think it's especially interesting as twins, like, mm -hmm. because, you know, we, we share a lot of our genetic basis and I think trying to understand why our personalities can differ but why our social temperaments are the same, it's definitely fascinating. Yeah, I think that's definitely what drew me to it. Also, psychology is great if you're constantly asking why all the time. Yeah. It gives you at least some sort of substance Completely. to do with that. Yeah, that would make sense. And not just biologically, you know, you learn about childhood influences, yeah. you know, learning, environmental influences. It's really interesting. Yeah. Stuff that you've experienced yourself as well, which is yeah. not, it's not the same with when you, like you said, history. You're learning about such obscure things to yourself, whereas with psychology you also get insight onto how your own brain works. That's and memory, coding, revising, helps with revising actually. Yeah, completely.